this is episode two of Rebuilding Newcrest. Um, this lot is the big 50 by 40, um, which is near the river. Is it a river? Is it the ocean? I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, so this one, I wanted to create a kind of watermill looking house, um, but there isn't anything that I could find either in the normal stuff that I could size up or in debug that could give me that kind of watermill thing, you know, the wheel. So I've done the house, but it doesn't have the wheel. So you can just imagine that the wheel's there. But anyway, I saw a, uh, a picture online of a kind of boathouse looking building where uh, the river kind of goes into the bottom of the house here. So this is what I'm doing here. Uh, and I'm going to turn that into a little boathouse down the bottom. Um, but it's going to have quite like an authentic feel to it. The house when uh, when you see it with the, with the wallpaper and stuff on. But yeah, I think this is, uh, this turns out quite cute. These beamers, be beamers, beamers, beams are, um, I think they're from Seasons. Yeah, I don't think they're Cats and Dogs. I think these, I think they're Seasons, but sorry if that's incorrect. Um, popping them on the outside the building um, because of the overhang. You know, you want it to look natural as possible. You know, as natural as possible as you can for The Sims, so... We'll see what we can do. It's a two-storey house. Well, it's actually a three-storey house, um, but the bottom I kind of don't really class as a floor because it's pretty much a basement, really. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to say a two-storey house. Um, bit of a barn feel to it because I've changed the, uh, the, the roof so it's curved. And here I'm going to put on the Tudor-style uh, wallpapery th stone things uh, from get together um, these are really good and they always work well but only when you're building that kind of house do you know what I mean they're very specific um, I think this is the only other thing which I've managed to build which wasn't a Tudor house which this kind of Tudor style uh, brick and stuff actually worked well with um, and I realised um, quite early on that there wasn't going to be a lot of space inside that actual house, so I did a little, another little um, overhang on the right hand side. These, the door is from Seasons, and the windows are from Jungle Adventure um, and I thought they looked really well and I'm not always keen on having these windows which are always look like they're open um, I don't know I just feel like it makes me feel cold because the wind is always going to get inside the room and bugs and everything so anyway it looked it looked okay so that's what we're going for on this as long as it looks okay, we're all good. It's quite open um, uh, with the windows and stuff, quite airy. And I am putting in the staircase here. Yeah, I struggled a little bit with the staircase. Um, I didn't know exactly where I wanted it, but I kind of want. I did want it like this, um, uh, where it was curved. But in the end, it didn't really work out that way. But I like building this one because it had a very different layout to the kind of builds I usually use. Um, when I first started playing The Sims, nearly everything I built was open plan, kind of like American style, open plan, you know, kitchen, living room, everything. 
Um, but now that I, now what I usually do is I try and close off as much of it as possible. Um, I don't know. I think it, I just think it's much easier to furnish when you've got less space. Um, and you don't have all those open areas, which kind of just seem a bit, well, I don't know, just too open really, isn't it? It is a bit dark inside the house, but I did want to keep that kind of wood and stone look to it. Um, I kind of felt that was necessary. So it's got quite dark walls and dark, um, dark wood flooring. I did switch it up a little bit with a little bit of a lighter wood in the bathroom. It's got two bathrooms, two bedrooms, separate living room and a, uh, a laundry room. Now this boat is a deep bug boat. Um, I think it's from cats and dogs. Um, but what I did with this build and what I'll probably do with a lot of future builds is use the the better better build better build by mod by Twisted Nexi. Um, it's free to download. Um, it's a great creator of custom content like mods and stuff. Um, highly recommended. This mod is essential for using the debug options because anyone who's used debug knows that it is a right pain in the neck to actually find what you're looking for. So what this mod does is it um, it's, it organizes pretty much all of debug and it names them. So if you names the items in them, because you see a lot of names, a lot of item names in debug are just blank. So you can't, you know, if you're specifically looking for a boat like I was, um, you, can't, you can't just type in boat and find one because it's not named. So, on this one to get that boat I ended up I think it was in the transportation section of debug thanks to Twisted Mexi and there it was just sitting right there so I thought you know what I'll have that and so I did I've got a nice little um, kitchen breakfast area there um, and I really like these counter tables countertops they are base game but the only thing I don't like is the fact that the wall cabinets never match the bottom cabinets like where is the nice orangey looking wood on the top cabinets even I just where is it answer me EA so annoying anyway I quite like that kitchen um, living room that sofa is from Eco Lifestyle I've used that quite a lot recently I do like it it's like shabby chic um, sofa but it doesn't go with everything but it does have quite a few swatches to it and uh, some of the wood swatches on it look look like really nice wood rather than Rather than just that hor horrible orange, bright orange wood. I hate that bright orange wood. It just looks so silly. Anyway, I didn't think they deserved a big TV. It wouldn't have looked right. So I gave them a little one. And there's another uh, cool thing about that debug mod is it, uh, it gives you all the swatches right there and then. Um, and these are, these are the swatches, for example, these ones, that light, and I think that um, that bookcase there on the wall um, are from Eco Lifestyle, but those are the things that your Sims can make in Eco Lifestyle. Um, but of course, this mod allows you to access them straight away. And ever since I got laun the laundry, la laundry day add-on, I nearly always put some sort of laundry thing in my builds, um, as long as it looks good and there's a place for it. Um, sometimes I go a bit overboard and try and use absolutely everything from laundry day, trying to make the most out of that nine ninety nine purchase. 
but um, I do quite like a lot of the stuff in it. This bathroom I want to give a a little bit of a na natural nature kind of theme to it um, so that's why I used the sink from Outdoor Retreat and the paintings of the nice um, of the nice leaf ones from Tiny Living which I think are really cool and there's some nice other swatches of those um, those cool modern animal print ones those triangular what geometric um, I think they've got a rabbit and a deer and something else but yeah they're quite cool as well they're quite cool for kids bedrooms but that's pretty much the only place I would put them I think this build is furnished a lot nicer than uh, my previous build in episode one of the Muse House. Um, however, as you can see, I'm playing my own game again and making the bedrooms and the rooms specific colour scheme. As I said, this is a downfall of mine, but I can't seem to stop doing it. Um, I see the bed. The bed's got a bit of yellow on it, so I think, you know what? It's going to be a yellow room. But even so, I think it looks quite cute. I wish there were more larger wall mirrors though. There's one which is like a square one and I think it's, oh no, it's not Get Famous. I, I think it's Seasons, it might be Seasons. Um, and that is a, that's a large mirror and I use that one quite a lot, but that's like the only one and obviously you can't size up mirrors because the frame sizes up but the mirror part doesn't so it's completely unusable i like the shelf unit this kind of like industrial unit from um eco lifestyle i believe and my fridge disappeared from before so I had to put the fridge back in. Strange. It's got a nice grey theme to it. Although always the master bedrooms. When I do master bedrooms, I nearly always make them grey or white or kind of light brown. I just don't think it looks good when a parent's bedroom is bright orange. But you never know, depends on the sim. I kind of only really chose those shelves because they match the colour scheme. I really don't like those shelves. They're horrible. But I'm going to... Sim who lives in this room is a writer and has published a lot of books. So that's why they are the same copies of the same book. Because they're all first editions and they like to keep um, a few signed copies for friends and family and there's an award because they won an award for writing even though that is an award for being in the scouts we can just ignore that I love the jungle adventure um, vases <coughs> excuse me um, they're I don't know, they're just really nice um, and there's a few different swatches of them which you can use and I think they look really good not just in Jungle Adventure Curtains oh, do not get me started on curtains they're the bane of my life I always forget to put curtains in builds uh, so I'm trying my best to to remember to put them in but oh, they're just, they're either well, they all look horrible. I think there's maybe one type of curtain, which is this, the, um, which is one of the single ones. I mean, look at that. Look at that tiny little 
Oh, it's horrible. But it's the only thing I could use because of the kind of where the windows are. This is the curtain which isn't too bad. But then again, it covers the entire window and I don't want it to cover the entire window. But anyway. And they always come off the wall like really far. This is just going to be a series of me complaining about different things, isn't it? Enjoy! So downstairs there's uh, the kind of boathouse area and um, so I thought I'd do this kind of room which uh, has a lot of, well, you see I wanted to have a lot of like nautical things in there but I struggled to find them. Um, so I do have those um, uh, the fishing net things from cats and dogs but apart from that it's kind of just like a, a you know a downstairs utility room um, where the pipes go. This is me searching through D-Book for something boat or nautical themed. Um, and then this is what I always do. I always just see things and I'm like, oh, what's that? And then I bring it into the into the world and it's absolutely massive. And so I delete it straight away. Uh, or it's absolutely tiny and I have to size it up and then realise that it's just something stupid. Um, but yeah, I get too distracted with that. Look at that boat. <laughs> this is kind of rubbish area you know like storage of old things broken things that they haven't really taken away yet and i was trying to find and i know because i've seen it there is a debug item which is like a broken dresser and it's got like a leg hanging off and i couldn't find it for the life of me even with twisted mexi's um debug mod I still couldn't find it so that really annoyed me but I settled without it because I didn't really need it um, I just thought it would be nice I mean I didn't even have the space for it but whatever that's the one but not with the rubbish around it impossible I thought that could be used for the water wheel somehow but you know what by this point i was just could not be bothered anymore i thought the house is what it is it doesn't have a water wheel and also the there's nowhere to put the water wheel because the 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 lake doesn't doesn't go to the side of the house so i would have had to have changed that and i was like no thanks This bridge looked cool. It's kind of well, it's broken, obviously, because um, I wanted this build to be a little quite well run down from the outside, but still livable on the inside. Um, kind of private, uh, which is why I did the broken bridge. I've got a different bridge on the other side that I do a little bit later on, but Sims, I don't think Sims can use it anyway because it's a it's a debug. It's a debug item, so they're gonna have to walk around the outside anyway. But for aesthetic purposes, it looks quite good. So to make the lake look more like a lake and less like a swimming pool, um, I lowered it right at the start uh, into the ground uh, to give it those like bank sides, and then just use the um, terrain tools to paint the sides of them and the other thing i was after and i've seen them somewhere is those um they're like wood they're like old trees which come out of like a swamp kind of trees which are coming out of the out of the river you don't know what i'm on about but i know what i'm on about and i still couldn't find them so that annoyed me as well but as i said i settled without them it was fine I think this looks quite cool with the broken dead tree in the 
in the lake. I think it gives a bit more depth to the to the water. And all of the trees in this build are from debug. They are all debug items. And the debug item trees, let's be honest, are way better than the normal trees that we have. They're just more realistic. I know, that's that it. What are you gonna do? As I said previously, I do like landscaping outside because um, you can kind of be a bit messy with it because messy is natural in nature. Um, some nice vines. And pretty much finishing off with just some more terrain paint. Um, all of my builds are available on the gallery. Um, I try to update them as soon as I've built them. Um, sometimes it takes a little while, but most of the time they are always there. Um, and you can find them by searching Chris Congeniality in the gallery. Um, so this one will be there. The previous build in New Crest that I did on episode one will be there, uh, and some of the other things that I've built in the past. And it would be absolutely lovely if you could give me a follow on The Sims Gallery, so you can see when I update, um, when I update with some some new builds and you can download them to your heart's content and also um if you haven't already i would love it as well if you could give me a thumbs up for this video if you tolerated it i'm not going to say you have to like it but you know if you thought it was okay not terrible then a thumbs up would be fantastic and if you did like it and you want to see some more then you can always hit the subscribe button um and see what I'm going to be posting. And that's pretty much it done for this one. Cute little cottage, nice little lake. And I'll see you next time.